rough. You gotta get you triggered here. Must be all that pro virus. It is that pro <laughs> And I've seen your bench recently. I'm not scared of you. My what? <laughs> your bench. <laughs> what? What you think? I cannot bench press you. Yeah. All right. Fifty-four. Um, yeah. I think. Yeah. Fifty-four. Fifty-four. Uh, Fifty-four. Fifty-five. I want to wish hap- Leonard a belated happy birthday. Well, since I don't have birthdays, <laughs> I take it for what it is. I mean, I think they should be eliminated from anyone's vocabulary for a number of reasons. I know. I called him on his birthday. I'm like, happy birthday, old man. <laughs> Started growling at me. Well, I knew not to call him or text him and wish him a happy birthday. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. Yeah. You know, well, now that Jay Mass is injured, I'll take his spot for that boxing challenge. Oh, you're triggered. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only playing. So what about the birthdays? What are you against it for? In a way, they're selfish. I agree And in that. another way, nobody really cares. Uh, you know, it's just one of life's things that people want to make her feel important what is important is you know like we do a podcast getting education feedback just different opinions <laughs> well it is a selfish thing you know people when they, some I- immature assholes are like you know oh it's my birthday i can do what i want i think it's what i want cause a lot of kids to be spoiled yeah uh, i mean i mean i think back in the day when people only lived to 25 or 30 years old that might have been something significant but i think we should get over a certain age it's best to say you're 18 forever i think it works wonders i think that's the key to the fountain of youth first and foremost 21 maybe then they s- like i said like the song yeah, said be able to drink. i'm young and sweet only 17 forever out of that night I got laid by the hottest chick of my life for a week straight. You know, oh, obviously, you, you, a queen. you got what you, yeah, I mean. But yeah, the guy got it right. I, I got what I was looking for. Right, so. So if you get something out of it, it's worth it. Just don't post it on Instagram next time. <laughs> no, I think it's going to be a hit. I think someone's going to take that video you dancing and mix it with the dancing queen music and it'll oh, soon yeah. be up. <laughs> there you go. You hear <laughs> that, maniacs? See, yeah, Leonard, yeah, Leonard yeah, is the, the master meme maker and he doesn't do shit. <laughs> he just suggests <laughs> these things. <laughs> Feel free. I don't care. I deserve shit for that. Just, so when, you re- when, just- you, when you repost it, give the channel credit. <laughs> what channel? Whoever does that meme of you dancing to Dancing Queen. Actually, it was very coming. talented. It wasn't a cookie cutter. It was like, you knew what yeah, you were doing. Yeah, you can't backtrack now. You can't backtrack now. It looks like something, I never saw the show, but Dancing with the Stars, you'd make a hell of, <laughs> hell of a contestant. You never saw it, but you know what it is. I can, you know, I have vague clips of it. Very, you, know. you know what's funny is now every time I post something, Lenny's voice is in the back of my I know when I'm going to catch shit. When I shouldn't or shouldn't post well, things, but is, I still do it. This is a Freudian slip. You keep slipping. It's what's the slip? That's not what it's intended to do. And you, all the negativity's coming out. The repressed feelings. Well, you're the king. You're the. King. I wish I could do that. I'd like to go in that paradise club with all the uh, black girls and do that. I tell you the truth, but I, I can't. So why don't you tell that story last week? Did you go this past Sunday? Oh yeah. <laughs> after the after last Sunday. <laughs> I mean, it's just the way it is, you know. You can't help yourself. Yeah. <laughs> he just he just knows that there's going to be a fucking room full of black chicks, so he is not missing out. He just needs to wear a GoPro on his head when he goes there. I know. <laughs> a live GoPro. Well, I told the maniacs in my life today, I'm going to be the one to bring them the Dixie Highway video now that I got a car, so we have to do it. I said it. <laughs> you have to see if there's any action up you there. You got to get a camera that films at night in the dark. Bart Nates. McLeod, you hear that, McLeod? Camera that films in the dark. <laughs> BestBuy.com, McLeod. You, camera that films bet- between buildings into buildings. You hear that, Adam? You know you can make it happen. <laughs> and that night vision goggles yeah. on following you around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That can possibly with- withstand a cum shot like Jason's phone did. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know with that. They, fans would message me about that. I won't watch that shit. <laughs> I, I don't fucking understand why anybody would want to watch him jerk off. It I don't know how you can. My fucking mind. I don't know how you can use your fingers and not That's use That's what your I was about to say. Could, could any of you guys. Oh, now you're critiquing the way he pulls his fucking pecker. <laughs> he does it like a lobster with two fingers. <laughs> oh, <wow>. <laughs> lobster <laughs> boy. <laughs> well, they say he has could, lobster claws. I couldn't nut like that. How does that work? Oh, my God. Well, we'll have to find out. We should all do an experiment. <laughs> Take Proviron. You can yeah. nut yeah. So then you can think about him while like you're doing it. The you first person fun. who nuts wins a prize? How does that work? <laughs> Not a bad idea. The last person to nut, the nut has to drink it all. <laughs> he's thinking, he's thinking I haven't done that in a while, so don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so go on about paradise. What happened this past week? Last week. Was it, it was this past Sunday, right? A few nights ago? A week ago Sunday. The melee. Yeah, it was Easter Sunday. I had a nice yeah, family Easter. dinner with my cousins who lives 10 minutes away, which I didn't even know. Nice lamb, uh, all kind of stuff. Well, so I, Sunday night's the big DJ night, and sure enough, you know, I come in about 9 o'clock, and the place is packed. I mean, there's like 4 to 1 on girls, and they're all dressed up. In a, in Four nice girls list. to one guy. Pretty much, yeah. And, you know, first I'll come in, and, you know, I see everyone look at them. I just ignore people st- sitting right in the front, motionless. I just take in the scene and such, and, uh, you know, make eye contact with girls dancing, and some of them are very, very talented. And, you know, I've actually learned something. Dancing is, you know, enjoyable to watch. It's enjoyable to watch Wobby's very talented as well as these, some of these girls. Which, you know, <laughs> what can I say? You never really know until you try something. So, but then I got out of hand. Oh, the guy that was there, that he was a manager, he had quit. So they got new security guards and these white kids and they were scared to death. And they, people were just coming in, not giving ID. I don't even think he was using the metal detectors on them. I mean, there was lines outside, people pouring in like crazy. I mean, real scummy looking. Easter Sunday. You know what? Pray to Lord. And it was got to the point where you couldn't even move in there. Nah, fuck that. You were like, which I didn't mind because I'm copping feels and I'm getting felt <laughs> up the whole time too. I mean, every girl walks by me, he's grabbing my ass, smacking me, grabbing my dick. Uh, yeah, they're probably trying to pickpocket you. Is what they're trying to do. <laughs> well, they don't have much. There's not much to pickpocket. Look, look at, looking for a while. I got a little deal with the bartender where I'll send a girl over and say, Big Lenny, because he watches our videos and he gets a kick out of this. And, you know, this is like a free for all over there. I'll say, Oh, can I buy you a drink? And you know what I like about black girls? Nine, t- nine out of ten of them say, Hell yeah, you can buy me a drink. <laughs> if I went downtown Atlantic and told a white girl that one of these little yeah, prissy yeah, right, types, right. no thank you, I'm, ma- I'm married, I had a girlfriend, right, I didn't right, ask yeah. you, I went to ask you if you wanted a drink. Right. <laughs> so, no, no, it's a no, good game no. going while it lasts, and uh, problem so, is... So they just have to go up there, say your name, and he'll give them a drink. Yeah. So you have like a running tab, or he just gives it to them? There's no tab. <laughs> he gets a kick out of it. Shit. I'm not going to name any names, but... <laughs> problem is i gotta do it discreetly because i had a problem this week a girl that i met in the finish club. the first week though well finish anyway Easter. the place is packed and all of a sudden you know, they're getting out of hand i mean outside everyone's smoking weed kind of reminds me of someone right here right now <laughs> right, yeah, right. i'm not gonna name names but <laughs> tj gets on the microphone no smoking weed in this club get the hell outside and everyone's ignoring him <laughs> so <laughs> i'm in this mass of black thick oh, ass and tits bouncing around and you know that people say they stink no they don't they smell pretty good <laughs> she asked me because they, they go all out for this stuff i mean they'll some of those girls are put on these dresses get their hair done hundred you know two hundred dollars you know how they get their hair done the hood two hundred dollars their hair did yeah the eight hour hairstyles well <laughs> it was getting to the point where and me i'm a little bit if you, you know what i'm not going to get into detail but Let's just say I'm not I'm not drinking, but you're not sober, right? Which makes, <laughs> which makes it a lot. We know. We makes know. it a lot. I don't think I'd come in there without it. So, <laughs> you, sometimes the best is to stand right by the men and women's room because that's where the action goes on. There's a hallway down the back. There's no there's nobody looking, and the stuff that goes on back there. What I've seen and what I've done. Rape. <laughs> uh, so a first. Then you've got these whole new waitress stuff, these cute little, maybe mixed black and Spanish waitresses. So I would love them. You should, I love them. They're pretty cute. Really hot, but nice little bubble butts. And these human filth, I'll call them. They're not Haitian. They're, I don't know why, I don't, I don't even see them anymore. They come out of the sewers. These creatures coming in. They're, I see them outside. They're drinking. They must be drinking liquor out of water bottles outside in the parking lot, being cheap or something. <laughs> Guy grabbed a waitress, stuck his hand right up her ass. I mean, she had these shorts on, right up her ass. She turned around and said, Stop it. Bouncers, manager, I don't even know who the manager is now, but the one that was there, he wouldn't have put up with that. Mm. I mean, then the next guy grab, rips this girl, rips her shorts right off. Rips the right waitress's the shorts off. off. Yeah. Smacks her in the ass. And I'm, I'm like, What the fuck? And I'm just lo- looking at all this. And, you know, I make my way around to the front. And all of a sudden, this girl in front of me she's real short cute good body fighting this other girl swinging like mad you know they throw in those crazy punches then this 
guy behind her, big this black guy with a white tank top, gaps between his teeth, just really nasty looking. Took a bottle, the Corona bottle, hit her right in the side of the face. Broke the bottle of her face? No, it didn't break. It hit her. Boop. It didn't break? It didn't break. But he hit her hard enough, right in the side of the face. You know, he still held on like, you know, it didn't break. And she's on the ground. Then she starts getting stomped what? by men and women. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I jumped on her. And, you know, once I jumped on her, they stomp and stop pretty much. I maybe took one or two shots. And I picked her up like there. And she, all the things she's saying to me is and she's squirming to break out. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. She broke, squirmed right out of my arms and went back into that crowd <laughs> at five and starts swinging on them. And they're like big, tall guys and girls. <coughs> then the whole place is so just. You, at that point, you just stand back and watch. Well, I'm just yeah, trying to help. So, like I said, fuck? so out of it. I'm like, <laughs> didn't have a care in the world. I could have cared less. And, I, you know, someone wanted to and where, hit me. Where, where was security when this is happening? Not there. Scared. I don't blame them. Yeah, right. it was. Like, I don't blame them. Well, they were, they were at fault for letting us. There must have been probably 200, 200 people, and all of a sudden, that place is not built for nah, two hundred nah. fucking people. What place yeah. is oh, it? It's crowded. There's you know, fifty in there. Pa paradise. It's there right, was people right getting crushed, and all of a sudden, like a military. Okay. in comes Delray PD. Like all, like, I would say, two of those big minivans and about ten cars. They come in. They all get the vests on. <laughs> nope. And people actually, when they came, in, they started stepping it up. One of these cops picked this black girl up off the ground. She was too big, too. Smashed her face first into the freaking right in front of me. Smashed her into the ground. And just putting her knee in her back and they're putting her hands behind her back. They come in there and they were pummeling people. And I'm just standing there looking in amazement. I wish I, I didn't have my phone. I think I had my phone in the, at home. I rode my bike over there. You know, lock it up. Which is good because that parking lot, you know, you don't want to park it. Next time you go and something like that goes down, take Call out you? your phone. <laughs> well, that too. Take out your phone and start filming. Yeah, I'll bring, I'll bring my phone in yeah, next time. Yeah, have it ready to film. But <laughs> uh, I mean, there's people, girls yeah, walking call around. Call me too. <laughs> Join the melee. But like I said, uh, and then the DJ, he gets on. Here's some choice language for you YouTube censors. I'm just saying what I heard. This is news report. So get the kids out of the room in the politically correct squares. Leave the room. Yeah, Dale Chance, leave the room. <laughs> leave Johnny the Bravo, leave the room. <laughs> or Johnny Dale Estrogen, Dale leave Chance. the room. <laughs> Dale Chance, leave the barnyard and leave them sheep alone. <laughs> <laughs> so the dude, this big fat black guy looks like rerun from that show back in the 80s. What's happening? Yeah. Right <laughs> but the DJ was black. Right. Okay. Rerun. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know the white rerun? Yeah, yeah. Brad? You hear that? Rerun is white. <laughs> you wish he was white. <laughs> so, uh, I'm like, what the hell? I was pissed off. I was pissed off because it was like 10, it's like 11 o'clock. Yeah, your buzz is just kicking in. So, three yeah, of these. You got to bring Jason there one night so we can rap. Well, we'll get to that. That's a great idea. And I'm yeah. like, we'll get to that. Did they it's have a like a, a karaoke night or something? Thursday night. Really? Wow. Oh, All God. right. We got to work on this one. I think. <laughs> no, that's did. actually a great idea because we'll probably get shot and killed. Sorry, and we're all good. Right. So he'll probably get shot and killed for doing that. And then you know, none of us. Well, I've been threatened to be killed uh, last week, actually, before this started. You know, I, here's my deal I'll go up, I'll take in the scene, let my brain get to another level. Subspace. Subspace. And I'll just come up and Space I'll look at girls and I'll, I'll go like this. <laughs> and they look at me and they're scared. For, for those who can't see, you're flashing a smile. Yeah, and I'll say, I said, my dead. I said, you can't. Uh, we've real. heard this. We've heard this. Mm -hmm. And it works. And they just, wow. you know, they never heard anything like that. I'm going to have to use that on Atlantic Avenue. Oh, it works. I don't know about the white gals. <laughs> the <laughs> white gals will call the police on you. Yeah, they will. So they have the outdoor area. <laughs> they got like chairs and couches. <laughs> and they're packed. <laughs> And there's guys there and girls, and I come walking up to the, walking right up to them, and they all sit there and look at me, and I'll say right, like, front, what the fuck whatever are you girl doing I like, here? whatever one I like at that time, I'll go up and say, and who's she sitting with? So I said, it, and apparently, guy goes, you know who I am? I said, no. He says, am I supposed to? Wayne. He says, uh, Wayne's cousin. Yeah, exactly. He says, that's my wife. I said, oh, you got good taste. He goes, hey, man, don't be talking about my wife like that. I said, that's a compliment. I said, you're a little insecure, aren't you? I said, that's going to get you nowhere. He goes, he goes, go ahead. You talk to my wife again, I'm going to kill your ass. I said, well, they have metal detectors in here, so it ain't going to happen. Because that's the only way you even have a chance of killing this, You told us about this one yeah. last yeah, week. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, 
same thing happened again. Wow. This past a girl, summer. When those girls, they bump into me because the place is crowded. So this was, no, this was two days ago. Right. They'll bump into me. And they'll say, I'm sorry. So they did went, they let them all back in? Did they charge a cover and let young people in this past Sunday? There was way down in attendance. I think this is Easter was special, but I think a lot of people got arrested. Maybe, maybe we should do the podcast from there. <laughs> Let's just schlep all the equipment there on one of these crazy nights, just right in the middle of the fucking floor. Just do the podcast. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens. Well, I think your idea is better. You can't go in there with a karaoke. <laughs> I, 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 I wouldn't go in there, honestly. God, if, if my, I was like regular, you know, mm-hmm. I'm not stimulant, I wouldn't even go in there. That's regular. <laughs> Before you go to these places, you why, be don't high. You, why don't you just call me see what I'm doing? I would love to go. <clears throat> well... At least to watch your back, you know? Not like you need oh. it. Not like you need it, but... Well, from them fat, insulin-resistant flops. Not, like, not like you need it, but I mean... You don't understand. Lenny doesn't like to be babysat. It's not well, babysitting. No. Put it's it this way. Put it this way. It's just... Remember Nate at the pool party in Vegas? <laughs> Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> All right, fine. They get shot. Because yeah. we, we each took turns f- walking with you because you, <laughs> we didn't want Lenny, you, you to get you got to sit down, Lenny. No, you can't be doing this. I, I wanted out. to throw him in that pool and drown him. <laughs> he's like, Leave me the fuck alone, Nate. And then Nate came back. He's like, I can't. He yelled at me. I can't. He's out of control. <laughs> but, so the night that they had to close early, one of the girls who has a nice, black, round ass, dances, bends, o- bends over. You know, they're with girls. They do each other. She works there? She, says, she goes... She goes, Let's, you come with us. I said, where are we going? She goes, flash dance. It's open till 5 a.m. Are you still on Easter Sunday you're talking about? Yes. Okay. So we went up there. They had an SUV. And I'm in the back seat. The two girls in the front. The girls with me in the back. The girl starts playing with herself, pulling her she had jeans and pulling her pants down, playing with herself. So I start playing with myself. <laughs> we went into flash dance. <laughs> and we sat down on the couches. And, you know, they called a girl over, a black girl. And they were, I told, had the one girl actually from the club and she was giving me lap dances and such. And, you know, real, real hourglass, total hood rat slut. <laughs> probably like 25. <laughs> and security came over and actually worked with this guy at the hospital in the kitchen. He was, he says, hey, Lenny, he says, you can't do that in here. Because she can't do that in here. Only one of the girls, the dancers can do that. So the girls actually paid for a dancer to do that and watch me. I said, that was good. So I guess... I, I saw the big ass in my face. And I had to bury my face in it. She tried to get away. I'm holding on, you know. <laughs> he comes up and says, you're being too aggressive, Lenny. You, you can't do that. I said, that's what my father's article said from the Inquirer. Rookie N, too aggressive. So I'm trying to be like my old man. So at that point, I told the one girl, she goes, you know, we got to chill sometime this week, whatever that means. So I got her number. Went home. Whatever that means. And Wednesday, I didn't, you know, she called me. I ignored her call. You know, I wasn't in the mood. So. <laughs> I saw her this week. She had a nice dress on, whatever. She looked at me. I said, hi. She gave me a dirty look and turned her head. As did a girl another week before, I guess. Well, if because she, she didn't answer her call. Yeah. Or call so her they back. don't like that, apparently. <laughs> but they have to understand it's a variety. You know? Can I, can I say something uh, quick? I love it. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. So as we as you're telling this story, I've been texting the girl that I've been seeing all week, and today she wasn't texting. We got in a little argument. She wasn't texting back for a few hours. Is this baby mama? No, this is a different. So I said, whatever. <laughs> fuck you. Don't text me anymore. She says, police are at my house. My brother's dead. What the fuck? Yeah. What did he die from? Overdose. Cookie cutter. Of what? <laughs> Shouldn't have been doing that. You. <laughs> Overdose of what? Probably painkillers, heroin, something like Does that. Does this girl use too? No, no, no. Does she, she recover? Brother? Brother? Yeah, we were. She was over last night, and she was telling me like, I don't know what to do. Like, I can't get through to him. He won't stop. And I said, oh, Well, you can't really do nothing. What do you mean? So she she lied about him dying? No, no. Oh, this was today. I didn't. I had no idea. Like, we she stopped texting me for like half the day. We weren't. To, we got an argument before. So I was like, all right, whatever. You're not going to talk to me. Fuck you. And she texted me back. She said, police are at my house right now. My brother overdosed. He's dead. Welcome to South Florida. Wow. Yeah. That's your, that's your indoctr- indoctrination. Just to like the, I feel like a piece of, you know, because I was texting. I, I what do you have to do with it? Well, right, he was yeah, texting He was texting her being an asshole. Yeah, I was texting her like, what the fuck? You don't want to respond? And, you know, her brother's dead. 
So well, his fault. Not so, mine. so you're not like a Jason. <laughs> you're, you're, you're you're not like a Jason when if the, you don't respond within one minute, he's no, texting no, you a hundred question marks. A couple hours. I'll give her a couple hours, and then I'll say something very negative together. You Why not just saying, "Are you okay?" Because I don't care. At the moment, I don't care if she's okay. I hope what, she's fucking dead. What you need to do is <laughs> do like Jason, like, you know, text three question marks, then text two question marks, then eight question marks. Yeah, right, yeah. No, I don't do that. Go gym? What time, Jim? Yeah, right. Go gym? Especially, Go gym? Especially on like a squat day when like you really, you have to get laid, at, you know, you're just ready to go. And she's not texting me back. It's like, all right, you know, fuck you, you hoe, and this will happen. Jesus Christ, God. <laughs> Squat day is, is when you need, to get your, you need to get your ass licked because you have the bloody hemorrhoids to relieve that, you know, all that pressure. I, she, let me lick, she let me lick her ass last night. Did First she lick time. yours? She didn't lick mine, no. Uh. But hey, we're getting there. This progress. <laughs> hey, go to Paradise Club. I got my ass licked three, four weeks ago. It was on Friday. All right. By a 57 year old from Riviera Beach. Oh, this, on this week's uh, podcast, tips on how to get your ass licked. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually, Whatever licked I'm, his ass probably Rambo. looked it probably looked exactly like his toilet anyway. Rambo. She yeah. licked my ass. I'm actually very <laughs> happy go. that we kicked off the podcast with Leonard kind of throwing a jab at me. Freudian slip. Because it, 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 that breaks the ice, and that's cool. <laughs> I know he, does, he doesn't approve of everything that I do, so it's better for him. Rob, that's another Freudian slip. I'm just. Saying, but we you don't approve of everything he does. But that's my, why we don't give my, a. Sh we can take yeah, right, it. Right, right, it's, yeah, it's all yeah, good. Yeah, but I know you guys all hold holding certain things towards me that I'm a cookie cutter about. So it's better that it's on the <laughs> table. I can take it. I can take. Rob, it. you're not a serious. Don't be insecure. Cutter. I'm not Rob. a serious. I've, I've never met anybody yeah. like you. Have you? <laughs> what? And you met anybody like Rob? I haven't. It's been no, a while. but we all have our cookie cutter ways. No, but what I admire about him is his honesty about everything he does. He owns up to everything he does, and he. He owns, he's open. He's open about yeah. it. Yeah. Like today, maybe maybe, called, maybe a little too open. But. <laughs> so today in my live, somebody said you got to work on that squeaky voice. I said I know. <laughs> I, I said I know. It haunts me. I wanted to take a cycle of trends, and maybe, maybe that'll deepen it or, or just or smoke. He starts smoking. No, you have yeah, a nice, yeah. unique voice. Yeah, but I but I listen to PJ Braun on his, and, and he's got a squeaky voice, and I'm like, wow. You got a Connecticut moment. voice. No, no, I don't want to Squeak, settle for that. Squeaky, squeaky, what do you mean squeaky? Like Jason Squeaky? He, you don't have a squeaky listen, voice. Listen, he, he, when he, the last video I saw him and him talking to his cats, I unfollowed every... Frankie, Frankie, come here, Frankie. <laughs> I'm not a fucking 300-pound Jay Masters who can't move his body weight around a boxing ring. I really will fuck somebody up. Speaking of Jay... PJ, <laughs> PJ does kind of exhibit some gay tendencies, for he sure. Does. Especially he when he talks. Just, yeah, no, you, yeah. You, you see it. And he wears those T-strings on stage. I've seen that. These hot-ass girls posing. enter his lives and he'll be like, Hey, B hey, whatever your name is. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You hear that, PJ? What were those two guys on the TV show in Living Color who did the movie reviews? You remember they give it one. Damon Wayans and what, Dave, yeah. Men on Film. Yeah, men on Film. Yeah, they give it one or two snaps. <laughs> like, Antoine yeah. Merriweather. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and they wear those little fucking hats. Right. <laughs> Hated it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you remember time, that show? One time I told Jason to, to when, when PJ got the indictment thing, I told Jason, release a video, say, well, he deserves what he gets for cutting me off Blackstone. And Jason's like, no, no, these Blackstone members go to go to the LA Fitnesses around here. Ooh, am I supposed to be scared of Cody Montgomery? <laughs> <laughs> It's Montgomery. <laughs> Mr. 185 pounds. Come at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Blackstone Labs. How about that? Oh, jeez. <laughs> 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 and what's her name? Uh... Uh, his PJ's girlfriend hit me up. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Shout out to Cutwater Spirits, Lime Margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's shit talking ability tonight. Ooh. <laughs> How's that for a sponsorship? <laughs> We don't need Blackstone Labs. We got dope labs. <laughs> Dale Chance has probably fainted after that little rant. How dare... How can he talk about Blackstone like that? 
Ooh, wow, well, I'm not going to get a discount at NutraShop. Look back at that up. video. He goes, I'm, I'm so proud to be here. This is an honor. <laughs> you say it was like the, the best day of my life. It's, yeah, the best oh day of my, my life. Oh, my gosh. gosh. He's having the time of his life. Best day of his life is when he got a coupon for buy one, get one free Copenhagen tents. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, Dale? <laughs> Chewing tobacco causes mouth cancer. It says it on every tin. I know you can't read out there in North Carolina. <laughs> but... I saw something on my text that Dale referred to you as Asian. No, the Samurai Jack guy I was talking about oh. last time. What did they, What was that? He said the Asian Rob Zilla. Probably the Asian I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> what? Can I read it? You want to read? Do the you, hear that, I know have... you hear that, PJ? You're going to stick a reptile on me? <laughs> Here's Zoe. Zoe didn't eat for three days. What's wrong with Zoe? I don't know. We can't figure it out. <laughs> That's the cat or the snake? The snake. The amphibian. <laughs> we're, we're actually waiting for Jay Masters to call in. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, God. It should be any minute. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> so what else is going on in Leonard's universe? You're like a fucking child. You have to take a nap from four to five every other day. He's growing. Why not just take the pre-workout at four, go to the gym, and then get to sleep at a decent time? Now, the nap is effective. A short nap has shown to be more effective than a longer slumber. Where have you seen that? Is well, it... I've just proven research. Jake Cutler, actually, for one show, he actually did this. He trained, Your favorite. ate, and slept. There we go. Trained, ate, and slept. Hold that thought. Hold on, Jay. I'm putting you on speaker. I got to hear that. Sorry. All right, Jay, you're on. What's happening, Misfit Maniacs? What's up, Jay? Not much. I'm just recovering out in South Dakota. Now, Jay, to everybody who might not live in the United States and isn't familiar with United States geography, and, and people keep asking, why don't we go and visit you? How far is Delray Beach by plane from South Dakota where you are? Probably a thousand miles. So about a three-hour flight. Uh, I guess. Yeah. That, that, that seems very... That, that doesn't seem right. It's got to be at least a three... Because it takes three hours to get to Chicago, and it's fucking yeah. more west than Chicago, no? Yeah, from yeah, the west. Yeah, I'm way west of Chicago. So you got to be more than three hours. That's more than a thousand miles. Yeah. That's what I thought. So what's going on? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I've got a discharge date now, um, so um, I've been doing some calculations trying to figure out how long I've been off work and um, I'm gonna, I, I have told all the Misfit fans to not fall for any fake GoFundMes um, you know because people you know trolls have been sending me text messages that Jason Genova scammed me $4,500 stuff like that <laughs> um, that's you know, your own I fault that's not true but I, I just just as a precaution, I told everyone not to send any money to a GoFundMe unless Andrew sets it up. And now that I have a discharge date, I think it's time to set it up. Okay, done. Perfect. They've been at, I've been getting a lot of messages about it too, actually. I'm I'll glad. take care of it this week for you. Uh, um, I'm not exactly sure how long I'm going to be out of work. Um, you know, the, the, the rehabilitation for this injury... Um, I, I'm not exactly how long it is, um, but for someone like myself who has to hop in a truck and go over the road, um, I might not be able to do like maybe the last two months, but I'm sure the last it's two over. months it's over. is probably it's stupid fucking shit. Well, I know, I know Dale would have been running a marathon by now. <laughs> Dale would have been running a marathon? Oh yeah, by now for sure. How many weeks have you been in there already? A little over three. Uh, my injury, I believe, was Saturday the 6th. Yeah, Dale heals up in a week. Yeah. Oh, he sure he does. That's why he's a fat little tub right now. <laughs> hey, Jay, I've been asking you how you're doing, and I see that you read my messages, but I get no response. Who's that? That's Bob, Rob Zilla. Bob Zilla. <clears throat> Rob Zilla? Bob, Bob Zilla. I'm not sure I know who that is. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, you don't <laughs> listen to the podcast. You're supposed to say never heard of her. <laughs> What's your name on Instagram? Bobzilla. 
Bob Zilla. Like we th- we had a few conversations on there. Oh, okay. And I Whatever. haven't responded. No, I think you said fuck this guy. He could still squat, and I can't. <laughs> Well, sometimes some of the questions I'll be getting are so stupid. All I, I said was, how are you doing? You know, you can, you can only answer so many times, hey, Jay, how's the rehab going? <laughs> Lenny, would you like to extend some well wishes? Yeah, Jay, I'm with you on that. It's like me coming in and saying, I wish you the best of re- luck with your recovery. I mean, what's that going to do for you, you know? Who is that? Never heard of me? That's Lenny. He said... God repeat it because he can't hear from over there. Yeah, I wouldn't want to give you a cookie cutter message like get well soon like the rest of them are giving you. Right. I think it goes without saying. But I think maybe some looking into HGH for this uh, heal up protocol. Now my, my inbox was pretty clogged up the first few days I was in the hospital. It took me a long time to clean up my Instagram. Yeah, like you have nothing else to fucking do. I like to stroke my cock. <laughs> How you been doing that in there? You get a chance? See, Leonard perks up when he hears about that. You know, the problem is I can't find anything to stroke my cock with. Um, there is no lotion anywhere to be found. Oh, yeah, I'm a dry guy, so... I'm yeah, just, me too, yeah. Just, use a, little, just use a little spit. Yeah. <laughs> you know how like, when you check into a hotel, they have those complimentary little things of lotion? Actually, why don't you just pick the staples out of your, your uh, wounds and let the pus run, and you can use that. <laughs> oh, that's fucking disgusting. Oh, my God. <laughs> tell the, tell hey. the nurse you're the famous Dave. bedroom bully. She'll suck you off. Desperate times, desperate measures. I could also just do a wet fart into my hand and use that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> Rob's over it. Give yourself a UTI. <laughs> Jay, I was looking forward to meeting you on Good Friday, but it was unfortunate. It what wasn't happened, so you know? good for him. Yeah, no, I know. This sucks. I definitely need some coaching on on my power lifts, like my deadlift and my squat. I was looking forward to meeting meeting you and lifting with you. The best advice I can ever give you is don't go heavy on Winstrol. Yeah, right. Well, how about what about Proviron? Is that's also a DHT? Does that dry you out just as bad? What does Proviron? Proviron, Jay. Um. Well, Viron um, is, is a cutting drug. I, I imagine that's going to be somewhat dry because that's there's no anabolic. Yeah, um, right. To it, it, it's that's also a DHC. Right, right, but, right. No, I don't think I would be going heavy on Pro Viron. All right, yeah, yeah. I'll do. I'll do higher reps. So, Jay, uh, my question. Good for your dick. Huh? Proviron is real good for your dick. Oh, it's amazing. It's it's absolutely amazing. And also, along with buyresearchliquids.com, uh, to, to, .net, to Cialis, whatever the fuck the chemical name is, yeah, it's, um, it's great. Right, Jay, one question I have is, what are your future goals Shameless plug. as far as lower body training? Uh, I'd like to be able to squat 225 again. Don't you think that's it? Right now. Yeah. I mean, Cookie Cutler, Jay Cookie Cutler claims all he does for legs nowadays is set to 12 with two and a quarter, and he says his legs are stay that big. Yeah, I believe him. Uh, you know, you built the foundation, but what, what did the, I know the doctors aren't worth a shit as far as knowing about lifting, but there's a chance you could do like 405 again, right, for reps? I don't know. I, I, I might just... You know, uh, you know, even um, if you can, he probably there, won't. there's an old rule in Olympic lifting. I don't know. Um, back in the old days, Olympic lifting coaches would never let guys squat more than they could power clean. Wow. It, you know, so big guys like, you know, remember Vasily Alexi from the oh, yeah. Six Olympics? Oh, yeah. Fridge. You know, big guys like that that could clean and jerk over 500 pounds, you know, they would squat. 500 pounds for reps. And yeah, they were big into the front squats, too. Squat what they could, what they could clean. Yeah. Because, you know, for power output, squatting more than you can power clean really doesn't make much sense. Yeah. I'd have to say, Jay, that... Power clean 275, um, you know, maybe I'll squat 275. I don't ever see myself power cleaning 315 again. 
Right. Yeah, we used to do that. What did it feel like when that happened? Was it? I didn't feel anything. Wow. Well, he messaged me, and he, he thought he dislocated his knees. Yeah, I thought my knees were dislocated when I looked down at them. Well, they basically were, to an extent. Yeah, because the, the, the bridge where that tendon connects to your kneecap, it w- was completely gone. So um, it, it looked like the Grand Canyon in between my quad and my uh, kneecap. Grand Canyon? That's... A Freudian slip at Brad here. Oh, 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 damn, yeah. It looked like the Oh, yeah, damn. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I tell you what, though, the composure you had, you handled that like a soldier. You didn't panic. You said what needed to be said, and you waited. No, he was very matter of fact. Just yeah, just like a soldier on the battlefield. Like to get shot, call for a medic, you know? That's all you can do. Yeah, so. There's no crying in Vietnam. Yeah, I mean, this... This incident will live in eternity with the internet, uh, and it's right up there with some of the most devastating lifting injuries ever. If it's not you know, on one of those sites right now, it's definitely up there. <laughs> what not to do? Well, <laughs> you know, he's going through uncharted territory, he did it, bounce back, that's Have life. You've squatted 600 before though, haven't you? Uh, in, in my much younger days, yeah, I did 600 for three um, when I was in my early 20s. And that was the last time you ever attempted 600? In my early 20s. Wow. Yeah. But you know, um, the previous week I had deadlifted 585 for a nice double. So um, contrary to what Jason Blaha says, I thought I had the posterior strength. For yeah, he was talking out of his ass. Well, the weight was going up till it till happened, you know? Right. Yeah. I think I was dehydrated living the trucker lifestyle yeah you know pissing in mountain dew bottles um <laughs> but uh i think the dryness my tendons and my connective tissue is what contributed to that well jason blaha said you don't know how to squat properly that was number one what did he say what did he want him to do he said he didn't hit depth <laughs> yeah well he doesn't know what he's talking about. You hit depth when you're in official powerlifting competition. Other than that, you've seen bodybuilders. They don't even go three quarters of the way down. I've seen it. Look at Big Ramy, Marcus Rule, Charles Dixon, almost doing half squats. So. Yeah, part of, part of the reason he thinks that I went on a squat is when I first started filming my lifts, I didn't, I, you know, I didn't have a tripod, so I was filming from ground level. Which makes it look like you're doing, you know, um, quarter reps. Yeah. You know, once I started putting my phone um, up on a bench, you can see some of my some of the squat sets I've done. I'm damn near parallel. Well, I don't see any videos of Jason Blaha with 600 or even 400 squatting to so-called depth. Do you? If any maniacs has 70 out there, please send them to us. Because I haven't seen it. I- it's Hamburg. What's that about Prince. Hamburg? I was no, saying. No. no. <laughs> we're, out, we're out of beer, so we're going to switch over to vodka. No, these weren't beer. These what were, is that stuff? These were Rob's oh, fucking you you lime it. margarita he it's fucking so bought. So I still, fucking when bro. Hamburg was here last year, he brought me some vodka straight from Sweden. Sweden. And I still have some of it left, so Robzilla is over helping himself. No. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. No, I, I told you to go over and get Where's it. Where's the cops, though? Jay, more about the stove. Yeah, yeah. More importantly, Jay, when about- are you coming back? When am I coming back? Yeah, when you, another month? Um, I should be home in a little over two weeks. Wow. You'll be able to bang yeah, your knee? that's why we're doing the GoFundMe now, so that I have, um, you'll be able to be- money. You'll be able to bend your knees? Uh, to about 60 degrees. Hmm. That's going to be a fun car ride. Yeah. I'd like to maybe go do south and get some edibles in Colorado. <laughs> that would help. Yeah, but that's not really the good way to go. The good way to go is to go kind of diagonal and go over to Omaha, Nebraska. So you're just going to lay down in the back of somebody's truck? Um, the person that's coming to get me is probably going to rent a minivan. Oh, good. And we will, we will uh, announce that hero's name at a later date. 
uh, don't throw the re- or the word hero around like that. <laughs> hero, come on. It's like calling somebody a. It's like calling somebody a genius. Like it's, that word's thrown around way too much. Yeah, Jane Genova, genius. <laughs> Marketing genius. <laughs> Not quite. A culinary genius, James. You wouldn't be Genola. begging for shit if there were geniuses. Is that the one that Hamburger brought? Yeah, see. I thought I had more than that. Man, Andrew's hitting it's the bottle. Thing, yeah. <laughs> oh, there is more? Look right there, see? The skull. Ah, the skull. We're good. If you need more, you can take all right, Jay. Let's. We're gonna wrap this up. I'll get that done for you this week, and uh, we'll, we'll promote it for you. Okay. All right, thanks, guys. You got it, Jay. Heal up. We'll see you soon. All right, Jay, yeah, Jay, I'll talk to you, buddy. All right, Lenny. Before I forget, I want to read something to you. Uh, hold on. You said you knew where it was. It's right. That skull right there. See that skull? <laughs> Fucking dipshit. <different. laughs> What? what was he doing? He's talking about me, right? Yeah. All right, Lenny. Jesus Christ, you give this guy two fucking beers and look how he acts. God what? damn. You know what? I'm the, I'm going to save the Misfits, and, and everyone said it on my live today, so give me all the beers I want. There you go. Save us Drink from up. What? Ready, Lenny? You're yeah. the Maniacs. My address is 18 Northwest 3rd oh, Street, Del- Delray Beach, Florida. And I might move out, but send all the alcohol, booze, drugs. I don't care what's in the mix. Co- <laughs> cocaine, send it all. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> send it all, baby. Stop making Woo! me laugh. <laughs> you should have given Jason's address. <laughs> I'll give him Jason's address. Four, four, two, five. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> they already know it. They already know it. Don't worry. Right. Jesus Christ. Lenny, you ready? This is from Sean. Hey, Andrew, I have a very important and urgent question that I would really appreciate if you asked during a podcast. If I'm 18, can I take the bar? <laughs> I, would, I would like all of your opinions on my current problem. March 2017, I was playing a rugby game and I was tackled and at an awkward angle. This then resulted in me snapping both my MCL, ACL, and tearing my PCL. God damn. After this, I needed three separate surgeries, the last one being February 2018. Today, on the 30th of April, I feel like my knee is good enough for me to play rugby again. I played a bit of preseason, so I'm fit to play, but my parents think otherwise. I'm currently 18 years old, and just so you know, I'm a fairly experienced lifter, and I can, and I even went on an eight-week Anavar cycle last year to enhance my rehab recovery, as well as increase my strength and size. I know Lenny does not like to quote-unquote play it safe, the, the play it safe mentality, and I don't either. I have four weeks before my first game if I do decide to play. Should I play and risk re-injuring my knee? And with this injury, I would miss a lot of schoolwork. And I am in my final year, which is very important. Or should I play and prove to myself that my injury was only a temporary and not a permanent setback? I really want to play first team rugby, and I believe I can. And, and I do have some Anavar available uh, to me now. Should I use it throughout season? Absolutely. But most importantly, have your sleeping, eating, and water intake at a premium level. You only get these window of opportunity. It's a short window. You have to take advantage of it. Get the idea of injuries, aging, negativity out of your head. Do everything you can to have your body working at a premium. And that's using every available tool. And you're saying you're on the right track? Go for it. And you deal with the problem if it happens, but you don't dwell on them. You're only here for a short time. <coughs> well, you can re-injure your knee the rest of your life. Absolutely. I mean, when you're done, can I give him my take? Absolutely. Go ahead. Go ahead, Rob. Yeah, go. Start injecting. <laughs> stop asking questions. Stop being scared of a needle. Get trend. Get tests. Get everything that you could possibly get. Go on that field and rip some fucking heads off. Stop being a fucking, ooh, should I do this? Should I do that? Should I ask my doctor like I'm Brad? <laughs> no, I'm, only, uh, that. I'm only joking. I'm only that's joking right. about that. Yeah, that's fine. No, 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 no. I need, I need, to, I need to talk to myself. But yeah, stop asking questions. Go. Stop. Should I do this? Do it. Do it all. Do it all. Do it all. Get fucked up on the weekends during the week. And shoot yourself with everything you could possibly get your hands on. Get one blood test done through your insurance and send it to all the steroid labs and say this is my feedback and you get free shit. So do that. Or if you want some shit, hit my DM on Instagram. I'll, I'll hook you up. 
<laughs> Mr. Rugby. Ooh, I don't need pads. <laughs> I don't need pads. Oh, I drink beer and drink tea in the morning. Listen, Mr. England, shoot it all. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Trenno Esther. Three words. Trenno Esther before your game. Think about Summer. your grandfathers in the World War One trenches with that poison gas and getting their Here brains blown off. <laughs> <laughs> having to keep charging. Were they asking questions? I don't think so. Can you imagine World War One trench warfare? <laughs> Your ancestors have done it, and they've died on that field. Painful, indescribable fear when those primitive tanks are coming at you, and they release that, that gas that burns the... Uh, it's almost as bad as breathe. living at Jason's house. Yes. Nothing worse than when you take a breath and you're not getting it. Yeah, you're right. getting a fire in your lungs. And what are you getting that for? For nothing and you got people over here or people now these liberal commie scum burning the flag and you know people had to go through that just so they could do that that's what makes me sick in those nfl players too think about that put them on a trench that's the worst part of it or crying about somebody making a meme about you oh yeah well, who does that oh many mr. many people mr johnny trust fund <laughs> johnny estrogen <laughs> Mr. My stance is important because I my dad gave me ten grand to buy fucking Trader Joe's coffee and sit here and watch shit on TV. <laughs> you heard it here first, Johnny Bravo. Fuck you. <laughs> All I can say is I'm disappointed our documentary hadn't go through, Johnny. Hey. <laughs> I understand where you're coming from, but I, I'm very disappointed about it. Things look Again, good. on Dave Palumbo, well, if you're supposed to support news, shouldn't you cover everything? What the fuck do you do? Who the fuck cares about your opinion? Absolutely nobody. Go to UPS and fill out an application, you worthless piece of shit. <laughs> oh, boy. Just keep Some people are just too <laughs> sensitive for... The internet. No, you know. fuck that. Maniacs attack him. Let him know what he does for the world. Nothing. <laughs> no. no, he said, I've, I've never no. done anything. You, yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> Which is all right. That, that's what he thinks. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> that's all right. He's, he's got his online beef with Bruno now. Bauke. Which oh. is actually pretty funny because Bruno does look like fucking Balky. You never heard of her. Yeah. It's it's a TV show back in the late '80s, I think it was. Yeah. Perfect Strangers. The guy, one of the characters, looked like this guy. Never heard of her. All right. Exactly. Most people haven't. No. Only people our age have seen that shit. Anyway. <laughs> when you work when you work hard at perfecting your online persona, you don't like when it gets tarnished or fucked with. You know, what, some the, the some people. Work? Where's the hard work? Uh, just time. I don't want to say hard work, but time and like you know building this figuring out what, facade figuring out or whatever it is. Yeah. Crafting a what, facade like angle to this the is this is who I am. Looking at it. And if I, I get criticized or any constructive criticism, and somebody comes and pokes a hole in it, I get fucking you, you know what I'm saying? Upset. It's too bad because we're all adults. It's entertainment. Why would you involve? You know, some of these guys get so, oh, I'm going to call the police on. Yeah, come on. What the fuck is the matter? Like, the FBI has to worry about internet fucking memes and trolling. I think the FBI needs to worry about more important fucking shit in this goddamn country. Right, like fucking stuff that Emma's taken. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sick of seeing all that shit. I get it all in my fucking DMs. It's annoying already. I'm going to have to be like... Uh, Oh, Luigi, and start blocking this shit and just leaving these stupid fucking conversations. It's like you're in the middle of, like, a, a teenage girls in some of these fucking group threads on Instagram. It's fucking pathetic already. Get a goddamn life. You hear that, Dale? Get a goddamn life. <laughs> <laughs> At least goes back to Dale. Dale, one request. If you could get live updated pictures with you and Andrew and the stuff at the Palmetto up there, I'm looking forward to it. Is Dale going to his show? Yes. He is definitely. Yeah, I wish I could go too, but I like Andrew's abs, nice and like not his, bloated. Like his abs, hardness, a lot of density, heavy, heavy lifter density for many years. Let's talk about muscle maturity. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Seeing yeah, it. Yeah, once he gets that spray tan on him, 
Yeah. Because the last pictures he posted, he was pale still. He's an aggressive poser. I like his posing style. He, his He's definitely he fucking looks great, man. He put in the work for sure. A few days left. Hopefully somebody films that. Dale's going to take care of it. Right, Dale? <laughs> there you go, Dale. You're on the hook. Thanks, Dale, by the way. You never fail to come through. <laughs> I love how you put pressure on these people. <laughs> the world wants to see it, Dale. The, not only the maniacs, the world. They want to see this footage of the cat man. There is a quiet understanding on the Genovaverse internets that in a year's time, Robzilla will end up arrested. Most Comment. likely. He got arrested last week. <laughs> 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 no, I didn't. Uh, yeah, most likely. Yeah, g- good hypothesis, you fucking dweebs. <laughs> Please address Jason filming himself in the locker room having an oh, old man naked God. on camera changing. <laughs> Lenny shaking his head and smiling. <laughs> Do you know how I've literally told him 50 times over the years, stop filming yourself you know in had, a fucking locker room. And you know he had no idea that fucking And again, we discussed this before. There's always a naked old man always. for extended periods of time yeah. walking around with that disgusting filth showing. <laughs> <laughs> at, at, you know, you don't give a shit. Jason walks around and they're naked too, so he doesn't give a fuck. But that just goes to show you how focused he is on himself when he's doing the selfies and shit. He doesn't give a fuck about his surroundings. No. It's crazy. Never, never. A bomb could go off selfies. and he wouldn't bat an no, eye. No, no man. No, no it's no fucking way. nuts. That's focus. That's narcissism. Narcissism is correct. I don't like weed either, but... Well, listen, if you're fucking that pussy whipped, just either... This is what you gotta do. 750 milligrams of testosterone every three days... Or fucking hang yourself and call it quits. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's as simple as that. That's the truth. <laughs> fuck, oh, my girlfriend says, it, says it's not okay. What the <laughs> fuck? Are you Dale Chance's brother? <laughs> Lenny's thoughts on the Tyreek Hill situation. That's the one who's... There was an audio recording of him where the girlfriend was confronting him about hitting his three-year-old son, right? What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather somebody... Tyree kills you. And, and Isn't that who Kareem, that? Kareem Hunt was the one that got booted from Kansas City when he beat his Correct. girlfriend or wife or whatever. Tyree killed us an audio he's, he's recording. He's the other guy on Kansas City. Yes. He's the receiver. Well, yeah. Just like Adrian Peterson. He took a whip to his kid's a ass. A switch. A switch. Yeah. Yeah. We need more of that, not less. Right. Works 90% of the time. You want these spoiled cookie cutter Delray dweebs around Atlantic Avenue? Some of them never hey, got their ass kicked in their life. Never. I got smashed. I got whipped with the bell. Yeah, look at how you turned down. Great. That's fucking great. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, the original <laughs> thinker, not a cookie cutter, not a dweeb. Like these gays. Oh, I'm 18. Is it okay to take Anavar? I, I agree. It's it's okay to swat, the, you know, give the kid a good... Not where you're going to fucking physically harm... Right. You, you know what I'm saying. Excessive beating is ridiculous. Like yeah, with a golf club marks, or sure. a fucking bat or something. Sure. You swat them on the ass with your hand or you whack them across the face. What it is is the pain in 24 hours, the red mark should be gone. But they also have to remember, hey, if I get out of line, that's what's going to happen. Problem is, these kids, when the parents... Well, hey, says, you remember, you went to school when there was paddling, right? We were afraid of that. Yeah, down here it was paddling until and those nuns. And it's it embarrassing. Like, Not only that, it was embarrassing. They stopped that shit, I think, in the early '80s. They still you know. actually do that in some of the southern public schools. Yeah, you got to sign off oh, on a waiver to let your kids get spanked. I remember my brother getting his fucking ass beaten. I think he was second grade or something. He tripped the teacher, fucking <laughs> paddled his ass. What? Is, Nothing wrong with that. He's, what is the most fucked up, hilarious? life or death or otherwise extraordinary situation each of you has been in over the course of your life fucked up life or death situation. i have a story i could tell all right when i was in costa rica <laughs> i don't i don't think i ever told you the story lenny i told brad when i acted insane to get out of getting jumped in the street no i don't oh, it's like larry david in the curb in that episode where he has the heart monitor yeah yeah, yeah i know what you're talking yeah. about so this is in 2007, I was in Costa Rica, and I was at a bar about two blocks from our hotel, and I was with my buddy. It was about 1.30 in the morning, and 
he wanted to stay. I wanted to go back to the hotel. And rule number one when you go to Costa Rica is you're not supposed to go anywhere alone at night. You always want to travel in a group. It's just, it's a complete shithole. It's very unsafe, very crime ridden. We were in San Jose downtown. So I left the bar. It was a two block walk to get back to the hotel. The streets were pitch black, dark. I can see the hotel in front of me, but still, it was, it was a scary walk. And I'm a block away from the hotel now. And out of the darkness come about, I'd say, eight or nine adolescents from all angles. 12 Niggers? o'clock. Three, hmm? Niggers? <laughs> no, Costa Ricans. T- ticos, as they call them there. I'd say they range between the ages of like maybe 14 and 18. So little niggas. From, from the, <laughs> That's a dangerous age. Oh, Very yeah. Dangerous. From the front of me, the side of me, and they got closer and closer. There was no one else on the street. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm about to become a victim. I'm gonna, I don't know what's going to happen. It could have knives. It could have guns. And they're closing in, closing Eight in. Eight people don't need it. Yeah. Right. That's- Surrounding me. So th- the first thing I thought was, what the hell am I going to do to get out of this situation? So I said, I'm going to act like a fucking raging goddamn lunatic. So... I sprinted toward the one, and they were all staring right at me. I mean, they, there was no question in my mind something was going to happen. So I sprinted toward the one in front of me, screaming at the top of my lungs, punching myself in the face. Ah, oh, you motherfucker! Come on, you motherfucker! And he's ba- he backed up. And then I went to the one next to him, and I sprinted toward him. What the fuck? Come on, you motherfucker! And I went to the one next to him, and one by one, they all started backing up. And then I, I just... I don't even remember what I did. I just acted like a complete raging psychopath. You just scared me. And did I? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Holy and shit. Next thing I knew, I thought I smelled they shit. all kind of looked at each other and said some shit in Spanish and scattered back into the darkness like bugs. And I remember I just stood in the street laughing my ass off. I was like, holy shit, it worked. It was great. And that was quick thinking. Yeah. But I have been in a situation like that. It's very and I think like, what, what would have happened and if you I didn't were right. do that? They could have done anything to you. Yeah. They don't care. That Especially age. when you're in a different country. Right. They spot. They can spot they a gringo no bombs away. away. I'd enjoy beating someone to a pulp. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I went back to the hotel, had a few drinks, and good shit. Yeah. yeah. Did you watch the Curb episode before that? Did, was that any inspiration to you? No, I saw that afterwards. Uh, yeah. That was good. That's good. Yeah. 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 Come to think, I'm no. You know, I wouldn't mind a trip, but going overseas. <laughs> I mean, it sort of lost its luster. I'm thinking... It was my fault. You, I, the only thing you could do over there and probably get away with it is if you want to get, like, a teenage girl or something, or a boy. Oh, That's why people go over there for most... Not Costa Rica. Ah. Co- well... Co- Costa, do you not want to do that shit in Costa Rica? You, if you want to do that, you go to Thailand. You don't do that. Yeah. Co- Costa Rica has really strict laws about that shit. Well, because they did have yeah. problems with that. Prostitution uh, is legal there, but not underage. Like, they will throw your ass in jail and throw away the keys. <laughs> Right. You, yeah. you gotta go to Thailand or the Philippines. Right. <laughs> what like, the fuck's so funny? He said you can get a teenage girl or a, or a boy. Or a boy. That's, or that's boy. the truth. That's why people go there. <laughs> Holy the shit. <laughs> What's wrong with Leonard's done his research. I mean, research. remember the girl, the, the blonde girl I showed you tonight? I said my latest victim. What's wrong with that? His latest victim. That's his baby mama, by the way. Future. No, it's not. It's not. What's wrong with it? If you didn't follow in the tradition of me and Andrew Kalora, you didn't share with me. I would totally share with you. Let's do it. I'll share, I'll with, share with you if you know where to get my drift. I, listen, this is the deal with <laughs> you her. You end up licking your ass, Rob. This and that goes deal. for everyone at this table. This is the deal with her. This is the deal. I, to, I She says, I'm a very jealous type. I don't like to have threesomes. But if she's open to having a threesome, I would gl- more than fucking gladly fuck her with you. Or oh, fuck her with Brad <laughs> or Andrew. Just to sit. Something about you guys. None of my, my other friends, I will fucking kill them if I saw them fucking her. But something about you guys, I will gladly share. I will fucking gladly <laughs> share. We don't have to fuck her. We can sit and watch. We can jerk no, off. No, you of fuck her. Oh, fuck Leonard, her. I'm not. Hey, speak for yourself, <laughs> man. Exactly. So who's got who raising, <laughs> raising Wait, You're going to be like the cock in the serious. corner jerking off? He's dead no, serious. No, 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 no. We don't need as shit. At least blow you. Oh. I fuck her in the back. You well, we can work up to it, take baby <laughs> steps as a cookie Are you, you, you fuck, What would you rather do? Would you rather fuck her in the back and she could blow me? 
I'd rather take a strap onto me. Watch because listen, lose listen, you. listen. When when we're fucking, I do that thing where you, you put your finger in her mouth. For what you, you put your finger in her mouth, and she's like, blow, so she's blowing it like crazy. So you know that she wants to be fucked and suck a dick at the same time. Yeah, a spit roast. A spit roast. So if so I'm if gonna have a spit roast, roast her with sure, her. I'm up for it. You'll do it. <laughs> I'll try to convince. I'll I'll convince her. I won't try it. I'll convince her. We can convince her. I'll convince her. Well, I, I would gladly share. I, wear, I got all that leather. I could wear the mask. I gladly. Share. Oh yeah. Get her I fucked gladly, up. Yeah. She probably like it. That'll sweeten. She the doesn't deal. drink. She, she yeah. doesn't need to be fucked up. Wear the I'll mask. talk to her. Go, those yeah. gold shorts. Yeah. I'll talk. Yeah. To her. I'll say. I'll say. Do you want? Do you want like two guys to focus on you at the same time? I'll put it that way. I'll be like, do you want like all that energy focused on you at the same time? And she'll be like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. That's because she wants it filmed. I mean, not to spread it around, but just to have it. You know. Well, if she does, what's a turn on too? She agrees to it, and like Lenny just walks in a room with a mask on. Okay, <laughs> here he is. We'll do it. Get undressed, care. sweetheart. I don't care. Uh, I swear to God, I thought. Of, I swear to God, I thought about. The, I thought about this that this week. Like my neighbors were like trying, to, trying to hit on her and shit. And it's like I want to fucking kill them when they hit on her. But some of you guys, I would gladly share. Thanks, man. Yeah. Likewise, I'd share to too. Anything yeah, you want. Yeah, I would gladly share. That's yeah, I share the, even the one in Fort Lauderdale. Which, by the way. <laughs> she fixed my phone. Wait a second. Oh, she sent me a message. Look at that. Let's make it happen. I tried to. I tried to bang her on live. I tried to put the phone down and bang her on live, <laughs> but uh, like it was just a bad timing. Do you share your lives? Because I never sometimes, saw sometimes. Seen it. Oh. Today I did. I will though. Whoa. Oh, oh Jesus Ooh. Christ, Leonard. I would oh, gladly. That's your screensaver. <laughs> I would gladly. <laughs> Look at that. The goddess. When I first Boulevard. got here, I was on that's, vacation. That's the one on Broward Boulevard? Yeah. When I first What's got his here. What's name? Tawan? Patrick. Don't say that. Don't say that. Yeah. Patrick. He found out her real name. He called me. I'll work it out. She's really hot, man. She's fucking She told me you can get, you know? He said it. If you want to use the cookie cutter word fun, that's fun. That's fun. Not going to some damn golf course. Yeah, right, right. banging a fucking golf ball around like a fucking idiot. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> that's yeah, right. That's fun. Or grabbing a basketball and shooting it through a fucking hoop. Ask Robzilla to discuss his Instagram live of him having sex. I tried. I tried. I should have gotten the one before where she was she was fucking screaming like crazy. She oh, at, she was going crazy. No, no, I swear. I'll do it. I'll do it again. I have, I'm not lying. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I got the wrong one. I put the phone way too far away from the room. And then she's like, oh, I'm, I'm raw. My, like, her vagina was too sore, so she makes me stop. That's her problem is I have, like, an hour, and then she's like, complains. Like, oh, it's sore. It hurts. Get her on some Anivar. I understand porn stars were doing that for years to help their vagina muscles recuperate between filming. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's good to know. That's good to know. No, honest, because that's the biggest part. I take the Kratom before sex, a lot of it. A lot yeah. of Kratom before sex, and then you don't come. You don't come, so you can last like fucking two that hours. One, that one in that silver bag was good, the one you gave me. Yeah, and I just, <laughs> banged, <laughs> I just banged the fucking, I was, she was screaming. She, I know she's been with probably like 30, 40, 50, 100 guys. <laughs> she's a slut. 100 cookie cutters, but she's been with a freak. Yeah, and I got her to scream as she was fucking like, oh, I've never been, i never been fucked like this. That's oh, always this a plus. A, you, nobody hits my spot like this, like you yeah, do. She told that to the last guy. <laughs> she probably did. She probably did. Yeah. Good, good, good point. She had magnums in her purse the first night we hung out. That's the biggest red flag. Oh, but okay. I swear to God, I put, <laughs> I put this, I, I fucking kill it with her. I do. I do. With the Kratom, I don't come. I bang her until she just, I can't take it no more. Mercy, mercy. Do all that shit. So, don't worry, maniacs. We're going to work on it. We're going to secretly film her. Fuck her. I don't care what she's, if she sues me or what. We're going to secretly film her and I'm going to get her to fuck oh me and Leonard at the same God. time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you can, I'll wear my mask and you can say, bring in the gimp. Oh, no, you, you can put gimp. the mask on him. See how he does that? Yeah. Shit? See, he's a sneaky fuck. <laughs> sure, I'll wear the mask and then he's telling you you're going to wear it. <laughs> I'll tell her. And if she has any self respect, she will fuck a celebrity like Big Lenny. Okay. <laughs> Lori Love, maniacs, hit her no. up. No, 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 fuck. I shouldn't have said that. And that's baby mama. No, it is not. Baby mama is Cynthia. I don't know. What's go What's going on with baby mama? Baby mama called me and she said, "If I'm pregnant, they get yeah, they don't even know." Okay, maniacs. Listen. Long story short, I came in this girl four or five times in a row. Oh, God Almighty! I don't care. We don't care. 
Because this, I, I don't <laughs> even have a father, you know? That's right. You got a future you maniac right there. No, you no. All no. your intelligence you with the Anavar and the Lithium. You gotta do it. There's you enough people on this planet. Are you kidding me? My genetics, her There's genetics. There's enough of the wrong people. Do you remember? She's beautiful. Too She's much of the wrong people. Do you remember what I told you in the restaurant earlier? Yeah, you're right, but I don't. I don't. I, logic doesn't work with me. Listen, ma- oh, that's great. Y- y- <laughs> <laughs> fit right in. Young maniacs out there, I need you all to remember something, and please let this sink in. This is very important. Nah, fucking bang them raw. That's no. the law. <laughs> your your penis is a loaded weapon and but it does not shoot bullets it shoots blank checks and if you're a moron it will shoot blank checks for 18 years straight that will bleed you white financially do you, do pull you, out oh, or wear a goddamn condom I wouldn't call Brad a moron <laughs> <laughs> I like Brad Brad was in relationships he was yeah in but he's better he's you know married. something though Andrew I'm thinking about that and Everything works There's out. To, yeah, right. There's you provide discipline. Father, right. You provide good food, good sleep habits. Get them into sports. Get them on the internet looking at, at learning things. And I'm going to tell you something, maniacs. Don't come off of that college. You got this little phone right here with right, unlimited yeah. data. That's better than any college will ever give you. Don't fall for the lies. I mean, you, and then you, there's a lot of things out there that aren't true, f- fake news, whatever. But the key is to be smart enough to be able to discern what's real and what's not. And I've been able to do that. And this, it, although it has bad things, it can. This is your education yeah. right here. I'm so yeah. college is overrated. You're saying it is it's, a, it's, it's a, a rip off. It's a, right. It's a scam. It's a I am it's smarter than put you. Put yourself into humongous it debt. Probably, it probably comes second to the Catholic Church. Is Listen, some of scams. my college friends, and then friends, you got the NCAA. You know, not playing, not paying college athletes. Some That's of my another fucking yeah, racket. Some yeah, of while my the head coaches friends, make ten million dollars exactly. a year. Yeah. Some of my college friends can qualify for jobs that I can't get. But they're stupider than me. Yeah, you know what I mean? They, they just, there's something missing there. And if you have the ability to take a, a phone with all that information, teach yourself whatever the fuck you want to know, That that's the smart person. You don't need somebody to fucking give you everything in a cookie-cutter lesson book like that. Well, yeah. I agree with you, Brown, on when the NCAA should be paying the athletes, but they should have a fund so when they graduate, they get the money. I don't think it's good to give an 18- and 19-year-old hundred thousands of dollars. Right. Well, no, they could work it into some kind of a trust. Right. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Because other college kids that are on campus can have jobs. They can make money. But the athletes can't make no fucking money. Well, they don't need How it. How is that? You're eating like a king. I mean, there's training you think tables. So? Right. There's right, training. Yeah. You, they're almost 24 hours. You can get anything you want almost. Right. Any kind of supplement. You know, it's. <laughs> I mean, but they, arguably, you could say they don't need to get paid. Whether well, scholarships worth a half a million bucks, a lot, a lot of them get paid anyway. We know that, of course. They get fucking cash. They get paid in pussy too. All the girls in the car. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's like my father said. Don't worry about anything in high school. Making friends or girls, you get that D one scholarship. You have. You'd be fighting girls off, and he had to get his phone number changed. Boston College. Leonard, do you know my father is in the same position as uh, not football, but baseball. My father tore. He got drafted by the Minnesota, uh, the Cincinnati Reds, and tore. No his, kidding. He tore his rotator cuff. Was this in the eighties? Yeah, tore his rotator. What, cuff. Po- what position was he? Pitcher. Tore oh, his I didn't rotator know that. cuff the first the first season. Yeah. Then gets play. Wow. The same exact thing as your father. He was a fastball pitcher. Oh, incredible! He was seventeen years old, pitching ninety two. That's why. Yeah. He was incredible. Now, if he were doing juice back then, which he may not have right. been. Right, or HGH, yeah. It wouldn't have happened. Right. If he had all the shit we That's had. another thing I'm, I'm sick about. Things that could prolong an athlete's career and keep him healthy as he gets off of, for future life, they're, they're banning the most effect DECA. You know, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. So you think college athletes should be on a... Yes, everything, everything available. HGH. <laughs> college athletes... Yeah. Well, they were doing it for years and no harm was done. I mean, look at Tony Mandridge. I want to see that 30 for 30, by the way, but he was taking every steroid in the book. That's what made him a great player, mentally and physically. And then when he went off, he nosedived. I mean, look at the guy. I mean, he, that's impressive with that kind of speed. He ran a 4.6 at 330 pounds. When, when did that come out, the Tony Mandridge? I watched one? it last weekend. Watch him at this combine in the tag top. Doing was that. The, no, it was the E60, I think, not 30 for 30. E60. Oh, okay. Yeah. Andrew, you don't care if we if I drink this? Oh, you sure ahead. you don't yeah. drink it? You don't drink? Occasionally, a little bit, but not tonight. <laughs> I'm drinking all your... I'm on prescription anti-inflammatories. It'll fuck my stomach up if Who I drink Who cares? That. Drink anyway. It makes it more fun. <laughs> it's all you. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. I, I didn't put the orange juice in there yet. 
<laughs> what are you shaking your head? No, you're, for? no, it's half and half. That's how you fucking. Yeah, yeah. right. What are you you got to mix your half and half. I don't know. Lift. There's ice if you what? want to. I don't know. Dark side of the ring. You see that on Viceland? It's like every week they're coming out with something to have to do with wrestlers. I watched the one with Randy Savage. Well, you have to understand yeah, that is everybody has athlete. their own way, you know? Everybody when I found, I thing. was surprised that Hogan wasn't in it at all. They didn't interview, he was not part of the Shake part of the interview. Out. Yeah, Hogan, or the Hogan documentary aligned himself with Vince. He's the one that ratted those guys out. As far as what? Well, they, Vin, Jesse Ventura tried to get the guys together and unionize. And Hogan went behind his back and told Vince what was going on. A couple of those guys were fired. No shit. That's why Ventura went over to WCW. Hmm. You know, Leonard, if you shared your stuff, I wouldn't be... Put it this way, Rob. If I was sitting here taking swigs of G... Leonard doesn't well, like sharing. You wouldn't say nothing? What? If I was taking swigs of G and going out, you wouldn't say anything? I would say, you let me get some and let's go. Where do you want to go? I'm <laughs> driving. Oh, I'll easy. drive. I'll get a lift. I'll Great, get an Uber. Yeah. Okay. Are you kidding me? I support anything that you do, Leonard. Well, as far as long as you're going to get that, but not not to be the Uber, you know. Not the what? Or the Luber. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should... I need to get that, but I don't. Have the, I don't have the money to get that up front. That shit's expensive. Yeah, don't worry about. It. What? <laughs> don't worry about. It. I'm not. You, know, you could trust me. I'm not going to say beyond that. So, <laughs> getting back to the Catman. What do you think? The latest pictures. Andrew. I think he needs to get rid of the cats and all the energy. I think if, I think if, <laughs> I think if Dale shows up, he has to worry about the curse of getting third place. That's true. <laughs> Don't take any last minute yeah, tip right, Dale. Right, Dale yeah, should right, stay right, far right, away right, from right. that place. <laughs> well, we want footage, Dale. Well, I want live updated footage, Dale. <clears throat> Dale doesn't post much. I wouldn't count on well, he's that. He's going to post at the Palmetto, right, Dale? Do me a That's favor. That's what it's called. The show's called the Palmetto. Yeah, the Palmetto. Yeah, and, uh, what would he win if he if he wins? I think they give it out swords. Oh, I can, swords? I can be swords. I could be mistaken. What else? Is there a cash prize? Those are amateur shows. So they give no No. Hmm. Have fun with that. Go online and buy a sword too if you want. Right, yeah, right. You know? You'd probably spend less than you would what you would on the gear that you have to use to fucking get in that show. Right. Brad, right. right. do you worry when you go to Tucker Tuesdays or whatever <laughs> how much you gotta spend or whatever the fuck you want oh Lenny day. will you be quiet you wanted to go to Taco Tuesdays no that fucking the other week. Tucker, Tucker Dukes. Dick Tucker, Tucker Dukes, Dukes, what's that I went there on Sunday the brunch was place. awesome oh. chicken and waffles Leonard you'd love it I don't like chicken with waffles I tell you what no? right now I had it in Vegas it's disgusting it is disgusting did I you like, yes that's not that's not a good mix no. oh by the way come no, on, come no, on. No, one man. of the funniest Instagrams I've seen lately was I don't the one care who invented it it's fucking good the one I sent I think somebody with that fat slob lifting and Jason doing the narrating. That was oh, one of the funniest said, things said, I've ever saw. Oh, it's on the fat, th honest the to God, fat fucking yes. Lenny account. I thought it was me back in yeah, the day when I was did. looking. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, who is that guy? Somebody at Boca, that, Boca House so of Steel. Fucking funny. He went around there terrorizing Let me see people that. last Let me see week. That. Who? Jason. That, that guy, Trace, look how fucking weak he is. It's on the fat fucking Lenny account. That guy. Oh, oh, is that big boy from Strength Cartel? <laughs> no, that guy has a YouTube channel. I mean, he... The fat black guy? Yeah. I can't even hear Jason's fucking voice without me getting pissed off. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Well, Read the comment on. section. I saw a comment out there. I almost pissed myself. What was it? You'll see it. Scroll down a little bit. All right. I'm on fat fucking Lenny's YouTube. On that one particular video. Or no, Instagram, whatever. And read it out loud. It's hilarious. Who wrote Dude, the comment? So... No. No. I was going to write something until I saw that. I said, I can't even. No way you could top that. The fuck happened to Lenny? <laughs> It's a few sentences. It's a few sentences? Yeah. All right. Keep talking until I find it. So. Who else do you want to give a shout out on Instagram to? You send me shit all. It's amazing how this fucking cocksucker, can, he, he can't post live videos, but he can send me direct messages of other videos. Want to shout out by Research Liquids. We're getting everything going again. Back to par. And there's going to be specials coming soon. So support by Research Liquids. Support New World Nutritionals Protein. And support the DairyMisfitsGear.com and, of course, Dale Chance Gear, always. And I expect some good footage, Dale, on your Instagrams. Many, many. Yeah. And book cameos. They're working out great. If you want a personalized message from me, that Brad can get his, puts his two cents in every now and again. It's definitely <laughs> worth it. Yeah, because I got to go film you. Anybody you like a shout out there, Robzilla? Um, there's a few misfits who gave me good... Um, uh, forum advice on my deadlifts this week, but they they didn't want shout outs because they don't want to swim in the piss. I don't blame them. But 
All my clothes are all fucked up and moldy from the place I've been staying at. So if anyone wants to send t-shirts, any t-shirt sponsorships, <laughs> any cocaine, any marijuana, any any uh, alcohol, 18 Northwest, Third Street, Delray Beach, Florida, three three four four four, three three four four four. Juice, juice. Anybody needs juice? Hit me up. I don't give a fuck. I'll oh I'll, I'll get you hooked up. We don't care. I'd like to make a quick comment about Rocco from the retired New York Fire Department sent me some great t-shirts really nice and his wife Darcy it's her 26th anniversary on May 28th so shout out to Rocco and Darcy May 28th 26 years these days that's just great it warms my heart yeah thanks for the shirt and I'm sure you've run into many burning buildings Rocco and I'll be wearing the shirts with pride and they'll be on videos thank you very very much Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. That guy on in a, that fat fucking yeah. Lenny Instagram post of Jason <laughs> training with that guy. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Unfucking believe. How many times are you gonna say that in this podcast? As many times as I've said I'm just repeating. I'm just reporting the news, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Hear that maniacs? I need t-shirts and shorts. My all my clothes are fucked up. 18 Northwest Third Street, Delray <laughs> Beach, three 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 four. You're gonna be three, moved out. What of is there it? Three three what? Three three four four four. Three three four four four. Or <laughs> hit my hit my DM to see where I'm at. You hear them, McLeod? I like those new designs you got. You like to message me and be friends. I don't see you doing anything positive for me. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Give this guy a couple drinks and here we go. <laughs> Hear that, PJ? I'll even wear a Blackstone Lab shirt as long as you attach, as long as you staple a hundred dollar bill to, <laughs> to every sweatshirt you send me. Because I have to be fucking false leading people that your products work as opposed to the juice I can supply them with. Oh. <laughs> Bootsy Calora. Ask Rob, would he rather fuck Rosie O'Donnell while sucking her toes or eat Whoopi Goldsberg's box after she just ran a 5K? <laughs> What? Is there any <laughs> financial incentive in either Would one? Would you rather fuck Rosie O'Donnell? Neither. None of them. I don't. None of these. He'd rather. Get, he'd rather kill himself. There yeah. You know. if, if Ro <laughs> right. Look up Whoopi Goldberg. She farted on live TV. <laughs> of course, she would know yeah, that. Yeah, that's disgusting. <laughs> Imagine smelling her farts. Like disgusting pig. You'd love it. Admit it. You'd want to smell one. She smell turned me off from day one. Yeah. Whoopi. Ooh, Whoopi with your dreadlocks. Trying to, who are you, Lil Wayne's mother? <laughs> so what's up with this gas mask? Fill it up with something. Come on. You want to try the gas mask? Hell yeah, I want to try yeah, the gas perfect. mask. You want to get him a little nug? All you need is a little small. All you need is a pinch. And, and you're stingy. You See if it fits. No, it takes. It's in the. Uh... I'm only joking. I'm only joking. You know that. I got gotcha. you. Hold on. Brad knows where the secret stash is. Of course he does. Yeah. <laughs> He's the mail. How about... He's the mailman. He knows where everybody's secret stash is. <laughs> so we should blindfold him and then we you can fart into on... it. We gotta get this on footage, so. This is uncomfortable. Why don't you wait? Why don't you wait till it's loaded before you put it on? You look like one of those Antifa assholes wearing that. We gotta get on footage. Yeah, that'd be funny. I don't smoke weed either, so I'm gonna freak out. I'm not gonna freak out, but I'm gonna bug out. I'm gonna be like, oh my god! I'm First of all, we need to put some water in it. Do you want water? In you want to take it out? Yeah, take it. Out. I'll go fill it's it out. still fucking crazy. Talk, talk, talk amongst yourselves. All right, Leonard. Let's hear. Um, let's hear. So if we were to fuck that girl, would you rather be blown by her or would you rather be fucking her while I get blown? I'd rather be blown. <laughs> yeah? What do you say? Pussies don't do much for me anymore. They're too loose. You like that, dude? She is so <laughs> she's be, unreal he's with. He's gonna be sucking your dick five minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's unreal with the blowjobs. Unreal. That's unreal. what I'm gonna hear. And I've had them done by the. Best. With this, like this, like this, with the same, with the perfect synchronization of the hand and the. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. You know. And you just want to fucking, you know? Rob, you don't, there's nothing like a tan, tan, tan blowjob. They're at another level. Trust me. I'll definitely have to try one. I'll try one. I'll try one. I don't care. Believe me, there's no girl. We have that on audio, folks. I'll try it. No, 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 no. Ah, no, 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 no be careful. No, you know, no, no, you know what? You know, I don't give a shit. He wants to get blown. Close your eyes and enjoy it. 
No, no, no. The the penis throws me off, but but by a, a tan, yeah, I would like to go to the tan clubs the, with you, the porthole, the other places, and I would like. I need more black girls in my life because you're right. They're straightforward. They're just <laughs> they're blunt. Yeah, they, well, they like you. They like us. Trust me. Right. They love the blue eyed. Are you kidding me? Blue eyed, blunt. They'll do anything for we want. You know? just, hold it, <laughs> just hold it straight so you don't spill the water. You got some film. He insists on getting this shit on film. Somebody got it on film. Hold on, hold on. Where's the lighter? Dale, I hope you're watching. Just wait, wait, suck, wait. suck first. Wait, wait, wait. You gotta get it on film. We are. Don't worry about All that. Right. <laughs> Go slower, you fucking jerk off. Go ahead. You can't. You can't. You gotta tighten it. All right, don't worry about hold it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Go. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, NC Raider, for your gas mask bong. Well, at least we know it works. Holy shit. <laughs> Lemon, you're next. <laughs> Speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Don't throw up. No, 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 no. You kidding me? I'm not a rookie. <laughs> oh, boy. <sighs> you want to try Leonard? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. I'm, good. I'm straight. I'm straight. Yeah. Goodbye, Lenny. <laughs> Come on. I'll drive you home. I'm good. <laughs> I'll drive you home. <laughs> He's all fucked up. He'll drag you <laughs> home. <laughs> I love you guys. Man. Uh, I really do, I do. Whoever's the less drunk gets to that's drive. That's the weed talking. That's the weed letting me admit it. But that's the truth. I love you guys. It smells like the Paradise <laughs> Club now. As soon as you go in. Weed? I don't know what strain that was, but it was pretty dry. Oh, what strain that was. <laughs> Brad knows that, all the strains. The couch locker? Or this, which one do you like? You don't give a shit, right? Well, I, I I know I did. I used to be fucking mega big pothead. So I know what you're talking about. What I did you prefer? To, I used to like sativas. Yeah, sour diesel was my absolute favorite, the most cookie cutter one. But I used to go, I used to work at the, the the podcast's still on, right? Yeah. I used to work. <laughs> I used to grow weed for the fucking dispensaries in Connecticut, so I know all the shit, you know. <laughs> and I used to sell it like five pounds a week. You hear that, maniacs? Five pounds a week, Leonard. What do you think about that? Legal? Wow. Boy, for you, 27 years, you sure lived a lot of life. I did. You drop it off. Listen listen how awesome this is. Say you make 200 bucks on each one, right? Yeah. You pick it up and drop it off within this. Yeah. You make a thousand bucks for the week. Ten minutes. Jeez. And you just live your life. Rob, check your Instagram. My phone's dead. Rob, that's too good. Too good. Too good, exactly. So what happened with that? Perfect bodybuilding lifestyle. Ten minutes, a thousand bucks. Yeah, yeah, but you're taking the risk of transporting. But not really. I mean, you only have it for ten minutes. Well, you're not afraid to get locked <laughs> up, are you? Huh? You're not afraid to get locked up, are you? I've been there. No, I mean, if the cops don't give me. Sh I will knock them out. I will try to fight them. That's my only problem, especially with the pro Byron. Don't do that, Rob. I'm only kidding. I'm fucking high. Holy shit. You, you hear that, Dale? What, what are you doing right now, Dale? Yeah. You have a nail filer, Dale? <laughs> Making sure your your thumbnails are symmetric, Dale? <laughs> you chewing on hay? <laughs> what type of, yeah, when's the last time you cleaned your spit bucket, Dale? <laughs> Fucking high, man. I miss smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, maniacs? Send the weed to 18 Northwest Street. Oh. <laughs> you know, 18 Northwest Third Street, Delray. Don't order pizza because I'm fucking broke. I can't buy the pizza. But if you want to terrorize my landlord, let's. I'll give you her number. Oh, my phone's dead. Next podcast, I'm, my landlord's giving me shit. I'm gonna give you guys her number. Fucking oh. rip her apart. <laughs> Call her fat. Alcohol, alcoholic, cookie cutter, trailer park trash, piece of shit. You, you men filth. Hear that, maniacs? Next one, next one. Slumlord. Who? Landlord. 
Yeah, the slum, the slum lord of human filth. <laughs> oh, look at, look at, look at, look at, ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, I got a full of bomb. Maybe I'll smoke it. <laughs> Why not? I hope I'll be okay. I have to deliver a package tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> a circular. <laughs> Shit. Holy shit, I'm in Delray, Florida right now. I'm telling you, I don't smoke weed. Ever. Unlike some people. I just don't want to pick up any bad habits, you know, different uh, With their daily rituals. Not mentioning any names, Mr. Sons of Anarchy. You got fucking ten different flavors in. Just Holy put it all in shit. one. <laughs> Uh, moment, are we having a moment of silence for Kimbo or what? Yeah, it's yeah. just thinking about her last night, thinking that she's never coming Is back. He, he never coming back. Gone. What was she thinking when she was taking her? It's you a know? he, you fucking... Did he know that it would be his last trip in the car? You know, it's kind of sad. What were you thinking, Andrew? I had a feeling. I knew. You know... But what were you th thinking when you had to pick her up and take her into the car? Him. I'm sorry. <laughs> He had a look on his face that said, I'm done. Because I knew he had the cancer and he was having trouble breathing. And the thing had gotten much bigger than a golf ball already. It had spread to his lymph nodes. He, he just had a look on his face that morning sitting in a corner of the house. He was like, I'm good. I had a good life. I'm done. Just this miserable look on his face. And as soon as I put him in, in the carrying case, I, I knew it was his last trip to the vet. I just had a bad feeling. And then they did the x-rays and blood work. And I'm like, doc, just tell me I'm doing the right thing. He's like... I'm like, if this was your pet, what would you do? And he said, quality of life is gone. That's it. But why don't, I mean, you got a certain people that want to do it to humans, but why don't they? I mean, if a human's in pain, why do they let animals out of the misery? That's a great question. Down, so. I don't know. You do it to a human. And I think there are three states where it's legal. There are, I don't remember what I think. Washington, they're out west. I don't know what, it's three states. Really? It's, yeah, it's legal. Not California, is it? I don't think so. I think Washington is one of them. Yeah, that's why Jack, Jack of Orkian was so ahead of his time and so much smarter than all of his critics, you know? <laughs> nah, I don't know he's, he's I don't done. Know. I'm he's, so he's, excited right he's, now. He's got a smile on his face <laughs> from ear to ear. <laughs> yeah. When you learn he's happy that he's, he's stoned for once. Yeah, when you smoke, you just realize everything on a different level of reality. It kind of brings you to yourself like... Holy shit, I'm like, I used to be such a huge fan of you guys, and after smoking, it's like, holy shit, I'm like, I'm here with them, and I'm friends with them, you know? It's just a weed liner that don't punch me for this <laughs> cookie, cookie cutter <laughs> shit right here, but... No, it's I, just, if there's over, you know, we should let ourselves know, hey, you're overdoing the cookie cutter stuff, that's all. Right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't you, you overdoing did, it? You did, you did... Whoa, whoa, whoa! With what? With what? The, uh, dancing? Yeah, yeah, I did overdid it. With I dancing. thought that was very talented, quite honestly. So then I'm my egg boy because I took a hit of weed. I'm trying to get you oh, in on better the for that? I'm trying to get you in on the threesome no, right now. How are you dissing me? No, I just. How am I overdoing it? He's you not said, aren't you overdoing unless it? Unless she's got a 10 inch cock. You, should you know said, how are you now. overdoing it? I'm not overdoing it. Oh, it's funny. It happened at the uh, club, a mud shark. A redhead, short skirt. She comes up to me and I'm hanging up by the restrooms and she comes up and puts her arms around me and she says, I can't believe I'm in here. I said, what do you mean? She says, these people are actually nice. I said, what do you mean? She's like, usually, you know, we're to some, another club. I said, there's people start trouble and stuff. You know, that was a night, it wasn't a brawl. And then- This is a paradise? Yeah, I started massaging her and stuff, looked in her eye and it just, it was like, I got nothing. I got nothing. Of course, her being a mud shark, it was a turn off in itself. And, and when I went into over to the other girl. You sure wasn't that redhead that used to go to World Gym? You remember she was married, or. Yeah, I know you're talking about. No, it wasn't to, her. To the. Yeah, she's a horrible mud shark, yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, it wasn't her, but. <laughs> okay. When I spotted a girl, she had a horrible dark skinned black girl, big fuck? tits and ass. She had a skin tight red body stocking on. No wonder where you could see the camel toe, the crack of her ass from body top to stocking. bottom. <laughs> and. <laughs> The outline of her nipples, and she had a black belt around her waist, sucked in. Looked incredible, and I approached her, asked if I could buy her a drink. She went over, and she sat down. I gave her a massage, and she was getting kind of scared. She's like, you know, the massage is just unreal, but she's like, yeah, I feel uncomfortable. I said, let's go over and sit on you know, couches. And the, and the mud shark came right up. This is after I hugged the mud shark, and she's looking at me, like thinking, why are you talking to her? And it's, it was a real turn off to me. You know, how dare a mud shark 
come up to me when I'm with a nice tan, you know, a real nice tan. So I guess the girl got scared, the, the tan, she ended up talking to some black guys. And the one guy goes, turned out to me, I couldn't believe it. I want her uncle, he goes, man, leave her alone. I said, you're going to make me. Here we he go, said, hey, man. look. He goes, he said, I don't want any trouble. She came up to me and she don't want you around her. I says, well, I said, what are you going to do about it? Didn't do anything, you know. Fucking cow. But she went to the bathroom. She was hiding out from me. This is a tan. And I sort of waited until she came on. She was in a car. And I followed her in her car. She shut the door. I said, when am I going to see you again? You know, it was kind of, that was kind of disappointing. Oh, well. But she didn't answer you? I think she was scared. But she liked to say she liked the massage. But who cares? You know, he, because <laughs> you're, you're a very big guy, just like me. But you're a nice guy. They don't expect that. They they expect a bigger guy to be a threat to them. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get so you that. You have to prove that first, which is an extra step that other people don't have to prove. Yeah, I get that. Uh, but you know, I just I don't mingle with the with the guys. So they try to come and be friends. I don't give them the time of day. I have no use for them. I wasn't asking you to mingle with guys. Well, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much standoffish to 99 percent of the guys in there. Come up to me, I just fuck, turn my head. Of you course, know. yeah, why not? I got no use for them. They, you don't have any of course them. if they have a girl's ass tits and a girl's face right that's the exception <sighs> Fuck sake. sorry Vince Goodrum <laughs> who? <laughs> who's Vince Goodrum isn't that the guy who looks like a combination of Michael Strahan and Al Roker who has exactly, the U- yeah. YouTube channel <laughs> is that Brad <laughs> <laughs> that fucking guy what did he say probably disappointed I'm not into him even though he's you know I enjoy his column what do you mean you're not into him? It's not exactly I go out, out to eat with him. Oh, boy. Would you fuck him if you put a wig on? You'd have to have a girl's tits and ass and a girl's face. There you go, Vince. That's your next project. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll get some traffic to your shitty channel. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Leonard's very serious right now. Who else you want to talk about, Leonard? The David Durth interview. Check it out on OX Muscle with Vince Palumbo. Very interesting. Vince Palumbo? This is part one. Who the hell is Vince Palumbo? Is Dave Palumbo? Yeah. He, uh... What's his name? What, Durth? David Durth, bodybuilder of the 90s, talking about, you know, coming up, learning stuff through the magazines, the guys getting him on gear. And it's very funny if you see, you know, they do a, what do they call it, a Skype interview. Uh, David Durth continues to spit something out of his mouth. I don't know what it is. And it's some, uh, somebody comes in the room, I don't know if it's his son, roommate, or what, but when he comes into the kitchen doing this interview, the looks that Durth, David Durth has given him are priceless. Interesting. Check it out, man. Yeah, it's kind of very looks? funny. Good interview, too. Wait, next week for part two. So we're going to review that? Yeah, definitely must watch. I got a, a long message from the guy that... <laughs> I, I got a long <laughs> message from the guy that trolled Jason into doing that fucking disgusting jacket. Oh, that's video. right. I forgot about yeah, that. I, you I can't to, fucking find it. Oh, Where'd he send it? On Instagram? Either Instagram or Snapchat, I can't fucking remember. But he said he started it as just to fuck with Jason a little bit, but he saw what an asshole Jason was, so he decided to take it further and get him to fucking do that, which you know, right? I still don't right. understand it. You ready to go, Leonard? We're going to wrap this up? No, I go on all night, but got to sleep, I got to grow. <laughs> Let's find a song. When I sleep these days, I shrink. Yeah, the death sleep, I call it. No more Kimbo at your feet, huh? That must be terrible. Yeah, that's where he would sleep at the foot of the bed. Yeah, my cat used to sleep yep. when I was in high school. Yep. Which, next time I rear end, just trying to keep warm because my father, man, they had that in the wintertime. He had that place like an icebox. Father almost never turned the heat on. And that's in Pennsylvania. Get it. I want to give a shout out to ZZ Only, who also has the Transform X YouTube channel that oh, reposts yeah. oh, the, yeah, of course. the podcast. He posts some funny, funny shit, shit, man. Yeah, yeah. It's actually watchable when he posts the yeah. videos that we do with Jason because he speeds up our voices and it's, it's kind of fucking, it's pretty fucking amusing. It's also a good dude. I message him sometimes. Yeah. What do you want to hear, Leonard? Anything for Rob Zilla? He's in the bathroom. He can't hear right now. He doesn't know what planet he's on right now. <laughs> Fuck. That guy's he got him. Oh, God. <laughs> he was, he's done after yeah. that. You take one of those hits, we should do that as kids. <laughs> you might take not. hat hits where you flip the hat over and you have that little hole up there, you shotgun the blunt or the joint or whatever you might want into it. the hat and you suck all crash here and spend the night, I don't know. <laughs> it's like gravity bong shit. I'm surprised you never got into that, Leonard. Brad, I didn't get into anything but sports school and church until I was seventeen years old. 
home life, family life, sports, school, and shit. Do you think you got burnt out or you just got pissed? No, I just, it was actually good until other things were introduced to me. They've been negative, some have been positive, but. So what first took you off the rails? Pornography, magazines, hidden in the woods. Other people at school giving them to me, me hiding them in the, in the house. Which in that house, that was a very hard. Thing so to that do. that started your downward spiral. Yes, an unnatural attraction. Can you imagine me. if you had the technology now? That well, then could you imagine what these kids would be like weaned on this and girls? And I see the results. Uh, in Twenty years, any type of whatever people they're going to vote for, whatever feels good. And I'm not mentioning any names here, but it's if it feels good, do it lifestyle. It's not going to last. That's an ancient Roman lifestyle. They did all that. They did the wine drinking. They got drunk. They did whatever drugs they had back then. They used to fuck their mother, fuck their grandmother, fuck the little kids. <laughs> yes, Nero and Caligula, emperors, Roman emperors, had sex with their mothers, illicit affairs with their sisters. It was anything goes. Woo. You know, they have the shows where they bring out the Christians and they throw them in with do different things with arenas with lions, bears, tear them apart. Those entertainment. It was whatever, whatever feels good. You would have been me. highly innocent seeing somebody. <laughs> Do you feel like you should have been born in that time? Uh, it would have been interesting. You know, like Patton said, once they started mechanized warfare, the glory of warfare was gone. Well, even with bullets. You know, so old-fashioned swords and knives, clubs. Hand-to-hand. -hand. Yeah, brutal, but that was real war. Yeah, pushing a button from a computer center. And all that's going to happen soon. Mark my words, there's no, no way around it. The what, higher ups are going to eliminate day? the population because all the wars and the diseases in the past 300 years, they've been eradicated basically. There hasn't been major world war, major loss. You know, not on the scale of the millions that happened in World War II, World War One. We're talking millions. And then before that, with the flus and such in the early 20th century, massive death and starvation, the potato famine in Ireland. Potato, Something's going to happen potato. that's going to eliminate large <laughs> populations. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, you may have the right idea, anesthetizing yourself to it. What does that mean? I'm not paying attention. When it happens, you wouldn't even know what happened. So. <laughs> wouldn't know what happened. No, no, I'd be way too drunk. <laughs> the answer co ants with cocaine. Actually, yeah. And uh, I watched this recently, that new... It's on Netflix. It's called The Dirt. It's about Motley Crue. Watch it. There, there's a part with Ozzy in it where he's sniffing the ants and licking up his piss. It's yeah. pretty fucking funny. It's the ants. It's insane. What's he doing? He was a big fan of Aleister Crowley, the Satanist. He used yeah, to eat his right, own shit. Right. <laughs> Who, at his Mr. deathbed, was, was asking for forgiveness, begging for forgiveness at his deathbed. Yeah. Did you hear that? Joseph Stalin apparently did too. We're mortified. They're deathbed All the scenes. Satanists, yeah. People are saying that as they leave their body what they're seeing they're, they're freaking out yeah so all the ooh, ooh, i'm in a rock band let me hail satan all of them yeah they all bitch and moan to on their Jesus deathbed Christ, right on their deathbed yeah scary so get a, uh, scary thoughts especially alistair crowley yeah fucking sick bastard. fuck kids fuck He's animals almost as sick and twisted and demented as dale chance <laughs> oh. mr crowley he would sit in old british mansions they say they were five six hundred years old in the freezing cold for months with no food and maybe a little bit of alcohol and he said that's when satan would enter him he would sit there and meditate he says satan would come into this ice cold fucking old british spooky mansion spooky and, and come over <laughs> and infiltrate him it's very interesting look up documentaries on crowley he has a lot of influence on people just another fact before we leave you know, he was alive, you know, in the 20s and such, and he thought, you know, as an Englishman, he thought, hey, this guy Hitler's pretty pretty smart. He, like, he wanted to go meet him, so he sent a letter to the uh, Reich, the Third Reich, and saying, you know, I'm a Britain, British citizen, I want to, actually, if I could meet the Fuhrer, and they wrote him back, <laughs> and they said with the Nazi, you know, swastika on the letterhead, said, we appreciate your interest in our Fuhrer, but if you get within 500 feet of him, your brains will be blown all over here. Creation. Thank you very much. Don't bother. <laughs> the shit eater, Mr. Crawley. <laughs> there you have it, maniacs. I know. But yeah, no, no, did we did we, did we mention my landlord podcast. yet? We didn't land. Is she a my, shit eater yeah. too? She. You well, did, listen, listen, Landon. Yeah. This has to do. With, no, we didn't. We didn't talk about that. 
What, what happened? The landlord owes me eleven hundred dollars for because I'm trying to move out and, the, and for my deposit. And we said that if she doesn't pay me my eleven hundred and she's not going to pay me my eleven hundred, we're going to have you come over and the maniacs can fund it if we need and fuck some some chick piss shit and defecate all over the fucking <laughs> on the on the floors on the walls all over the fucking apartment. We can have I a, want shit. We I can have a sh- shit orgy. Tell your girlfriend no. that. Shit orgy. <laughs> a shit orgy. Yeah, tell your girlfriend that. My gr- she orgy. might not be into it, but if she's not into it, then dump it. Guess her. what? The I got something that'll make you shit in a second. What's that? Elephant abortion? Elephant abortion inducer. Yeah, right. Okay, well. We'll inject ourselves and... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you're literally shit everything out <laughs> we'll in a matter of minutes. Elephant. Looking forward to it. Abortion like, looking forward to just shitting on a woman's face. Harry knows three words together. Yeah, I know. Fucking always you, crack me you up you know what I'm him. saying? He takes it every Absolutely. year, Absolutely. Tell her we'll do an sh- old-fashioned shit orgy and film it. Shit orgy. All right. You hear that, Nasty maniacs? Fucks. You know any fucking... Bring the girls over. We're all Bring all the thing. fecal freaks over. Yeah. Bring all the fecal freaks over. We're the talent. I don't care if you have three, four, five followers. Come over where the talent, and we'll we'll. Just, Don't forget, we'll bring a bring a tan over vocal. with a big ass. <laughs> bring a tan over, big ass. And we can hold each one of her legs while she sh- shits on me. Exactly, we can <laughs> do that. Or inject her in the belly, and she can take a dump all over me. I'm feeling. <laughs> yeah. There's some sure big girls over there. There's some asses this fucking big. Some of those 300 pounders. <laughs> all you ludicrous. Out of that. <laughs> oh. All you ludicrous. My ass is big enough, posing bitches. Yeah. On Instagram, we're gonna have That's the ass shit. contest. <laughs> My prediction: that. once the censors are, you got a great ass, but I want to see your shit. I guarantee, I guarantee this: within 20, 20 years, once the censorship's lifted by the younger generation, you will see Instagrams of girls taking shits. Shit. <laughs> I guarantee it'll be like the cool thing. You know, like where they'll spread their yeah, ass. And cool look thing. at this shit. I just ate this. I swear it. <laughs> You guys can write it down. It's going to happen. Do you agree? It probably already does happen. But it they got to pay for it in, on certain right. sites. Yeah, what's it'll it'll get banned right away. No, it's not going to get banned because the younger <laughs> generation is they much more open minded. They love it. Yeah. You're right. going to be able to go to clubs naked in 10, 20 years in Delray. I guarantee they're you. They're going to love it. <laughs> uh, they're going to love it. Once the baby boomers are gone, that's the last bastion. All you have to after that is hippies. It should be cheesy shit. There's going to be, you can, you can, there's going to be nude everything here. So better guys better stay in shape. This is why you're staying you alive. Better. Yeah, you yeah. better. Yeah, I guarantee that's gonna happen. He envisions all this shit to get the will to live. I'm not saying wrong. I'm just saying it's gonna happen. All right. And if you don't have the tools to stay in shape, DM me at Rob Zilla. I'll get you all the deck and provide you the <laughs> And you girls can see Dale Chance's tight ass, it's 405 squatter's yeah, ass right. in the flesh, yeah, yeah. naked. Squatter's ass, paying 1200 Squatting naked. 1200 a week for You can for see me squatting with my dog balls scraping the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to happen. For Cornelius. Imagine the nicest girl you see squatting. You're going to see a gaping butthole very soon. <laughs> Going up and down in in a gym. Adjacent to. <laughs> uh, on that note, good night. <laughs>